In this video I'm going to show how you can play Winter War mod or Talvisato mod in Rising Storm 2. I will show this for Steam version as well as Epic Game Store version. You might ask why I'm doing this video now. That's because it's December and the game has always been the most popular during December. Simply because people tend to go play the mod during Finnish Independence Day on 6th of December. To start with Steam, of course you need Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. You can get it probably for quite a cheap price. Even lower than this, let's say below 10 euros during sales. Install the game in Steam and after that you can search for the mod. You can find the mod also from Steam store by searching Winter War. Here it is. Doesn't cost anything. Then you also install it by clicking the play game button. That's actually pretty much it in Steam, it's that easy. Simply install two of those things and you're ready to go. Always a good idea to install of course all the games in the same Steam folder. To launch the mod you can simply launch the Rising Storm 2. There is also another icon for the Wind War. You can also launch it this way. It will simply start up the Rising Storm 2. Only difference is that it will also launch this kind of mini program that tracks your playtime during the Winter War. Once you have launched the game, simply click Play Online, then Server Browser. In this list there are all the servers, even the Vietnam servers. To find the Winter War servers easily, click Map Filter twice and it will put them on the top of the list. Currently we only have two Winter War servers, which are these two. And only one, only this one is actually ranked server, so that means that only in that Winter War server you can gain some levels for your character if you care about that. Then just select the server and click connect and that's that. Now to the Epic Game Store version. So if you want to play the mod through Epic Game Store it's still possible, but slightly trickier. You will still need to download and install the mod through Steam. So go to Steam and search Winter War in Steam Store. You should find this page and simply install the mod by clicking the Play the Game button. Now when you have downloaded the mod and also installed the Rising Storm 2 from Epic, now you should open the both file locations of the mod and also the Rising Storm 2. To find the mod files, you can easily get them by going to Steam library, then finding Winter War from the list, then right click, manage and browse local files. That will take you to the main folder. Once you press that, you should be in the folder where there are two main folders, binaries and row game. And this here would be the default installation location if you didn't change it during the installation of the mod. Now also find and open up the file location of Rising Storm 2 which you just installed through the Epic Game Store. This here would be the default installation location unless you changed it. And this would be the folder you need to open up. Once you open the folder, it should look like this. Now what the deal is that we copy from the Steam mod file location the highlighted files needed to the Epic Game Store's Rising Storm location. So you simply use your common sense to kind of match the file names because the same binaries and row game files folders will be found from here also, like here is the row game and the binaries. So we kind of just find the similar names here and copy the green highlighted files in their respected locations. Like basically we just move the files from Steam to Epic Games. So 
it's not uh, really a rocket science. We can start by opening the binaries folder. So binaries, Win64, Win64. Then we select this highlighted file and drag it over the correct folder with the correct name. Then we move to the next folder, row game. So row game. Inside it we find root PC, so root PC. And inside of it we find maps, maps. And we can try to see if we can find this window folder here. Because we cannot see it, we can assume that this is already the correct folder, so we simply select all of these and drag them over here. And this and more means that inside the mentioned folder there is way more files than the ones that I have listed here, so you need to select all of the files inside the folder, not just these two. Select everything and drag them over. And then we can move to the next folder, which is the packages. Packages and inside of it, do we find window war? No window war, so this is already the correct folder. We copy everything and rest of the files into this folder. And next folder is voice audio. Voice audio, Windows. Windows, English, English, and we copy every single file, all of them, into this folder. Then we have this one more file here. We simply copy it from the Brute PC to the Brute PC in the Epic folder. So copy it to the Brute PC. And after that we can move to the config folder, which is under row game. So row game and config. Copy everything inside this folder to here. And then we have one more folder left, which is the localization. So localization, int, int, and we copy this one file to here. Now we have moved every single highlighted file to the Epic Game Store's uh, game file location. So basically the window wall mod should be ready to go. You can simply start up the game from the Epic Games launcher and search for window wall servers from the standard server browser. If you have any problems you can leave down a comment and we can figure it out, if we can fix it somehow. Uh, one more thing, if if you make it, if you test this out and it works, but at some point you notice that it no longer works, like the server disconnects and you cannot join anymore, simply go to Steam and check if there was a new update for the Window War mod. If so, you need to download the update from Steam and then just repeat this whole process and repeat everything I just did. This is just to like uh, <laughs> replace the old files with the updated mod files. Then it should work again. So that was that. Thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield.